Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe here today and I'm going to be showing you a quick thing that I've been doing with all my money making phones just to make life a little bit easier and this method is going to be how to get rid of the no SIM message on your iPhone or iPad, whatever device you have that has a SIM card in it or should have a SIM card in it but obviously doesn't because you're getting this message. Well, you guys know that we don't need SIM cards and make money with your smartphones and sometimes we get phones shipped to us that we buy online that don't have SIM cards in them or we decide to take a SIM card out of one of our old phones that we actually use as our main phone and just use it without a SIM. Oops. And this message right here will pop up when you do this. No SIM card installed. And then you go to unlock your device. And this usually just happens after reboot. But I also noticed it was happening like in the middle of my... Uh of my money making too, which is very bad. So no SIM card install pops up here. And it's just one more step that we have to do and we're taking care of our devices and doing maintenance. And you guys know I like efficiency. I'm sure you like efficiency because you want to get done money making as soon as you possibly can. So we're going to be using a jailbreak tweak to do this. It is called Flex 2. So just go ahead and go over to Cydia on your money making phone that is jailbroken. You guys know Flex and Cydia jailbroken. They are tweaks. So you need to have jailbreak to do this. Once you're in the Cydia store, go ahead and search for Flex. Actually, it should be on the Big Boss repo, so you don't actually have to add any. And however, it does cost money. So Flex 2 costs $3.99. By the way, you can do this on every single one of your money-making devices, given that you link to the same exact email. So I'm gonna go ahead and click purchase and I'm gonna sign in with my Google account that's also linked to my PayPal account. So that way I can just pay with my PayPal account. Just go ahead and link device to the account and it's actually telling me that I already own this product because like I said, I bought it already for another money making device and now I've just been signing in onto all of the iOS devices and uh, in doing this, this, uh, this download of Flex2. So now it's just gonna go ahead and download for me or actually I have to install it here. I will say that there are free versions of Flex. However, it is pirated and I don't condone piracy. Guys, it's four bucks. It's not a problem. And I have also seen online that if you use the pirated version, more problems can occur. So with that being said, I highly recommend you guys just pay for it. It's only four bucks. And uh, we want to also have reliable money-making devices. We don't want anything to go wrong. So um, do what you want, but I recommend you just purchase it for four bucks. Once you go ahead and respring your device after you install Flex, as you can see, even after resprings, that no SIM appears. Go to Flex 2, wherever you downloaded it on your home screen. And now we're going to have to do some patches on our springboard. So once you get into this menu, it's the first thing you'll see when you start up Flex. Hit the plus button in the top right hand corner on to get to it, but here it is. And then where it says add units, click here. Executable, click springboard. And process this, and you're going to have to respring in order to access these libraries. Once your device has successfully resprung, the next thing you're going to have to do is go back into Flex. As you can see, springboard patch is on the screen here. Go to add units again. Executable springboard. Now type in SB SIM. And look for lock alert item. SB SIM lock alert item. Here it is. And then from this point, you're going to have to search for the method reappears after lock and we're actually gonna have to do both of these after lock and after unlock just go ahead and check mark both of these we're not actually modifying values yet we're just getting the methods that we want to modify so the next thing after you check both of those go back from this menu where we typed in sb sim and instead of clicking on lock alert item now you have to click on lock manager which is actually right below that and this time type in should suppress alert or just until you get that and check mark this one. Once we have all of our methods checked, go back and go to the springboard patch menu. So it's right here. It's the first menu. And for each one of these values, so for the first one reappears after lock at the bottom, it says return value bool. Click there. It's going to say pass through. We're going to override this value to false. Do the same thing for reappears after unlock. We're going to change pass through to false. And then go back to should suppress alert. 
and you want to actually make this bool value true. So those are the three methods you have to modify in the springboard patch, patch editor. Go back then and click the check mark and you're gonna have to enable these changes. So we're just gonna have to restart our springboard again or respring. And as you guys should see, there is no no sim message as there was the last time I resprung. If I'd reboot, that sim message would be gone from both the lock screen and the home screen when after you unlock your device. So this is great. This is an absolutely wonderful tweak. I highly recommend you do it on all your money making devices. Just get flex, buy it, do whatever you got to do to get it. Uh, but as I said, I recommend you just purchase it. It may end up making life easier in the long run. Why did I show you this, guys? How to remove the no sim message. One word, efficiency. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And if you have any questions, you can send me an email or send me a message on Facebook, Twitter. Follow me there, like me. Subscribe to this channel if you want to hear more about making money. I'll talk to you guys later and have fun making money. My overall, well, foreseen conclusion at this point. So the Apple Watch Nern is available for Android. I could not find it for iOS anywhere. It works all the way down to Ice Cream Sandwich, I believe, which is a good thing. It'll work on cheaper track phones, just like this LG right here, this LG Optimus Fuel.